Hey, Sir Ronald 77 we're back with a new video. We were taking you to a place up in Mosquito Valley, but we're going to show you how to get there. Uh, we're typically right now, we're at the Manor Street exit. We're going to be going through here, and then we'll get up to Turkey Hill. We will show you how to get there. You take a left at Turkey Hill. See you there. We are coming upon, you take a left right here at Turkey Hill on a street called Valley Street. Valley Street because to my right here is the Valley End. We're going to take this street up about half a mile. See you there. And then you get to Mosquito Valley Road and you take a left. And you're going to take this all the way up. We made it. Behind me, you'll see the William Nichols Senior Water Filtration Plant. But up there is where we're going to be really exploring. As you can see how beautiful this water is. Let's take a little closer look at it. The water. Do you see the water? That's stationary. You hear nothing. No humans. And look at the mountain behind it. That's the Appalachian Mountains, kids. Alright. Now, we're going to head back here to show you what we really came for. Let's go. We're going to start on this trail. It's called the Bluebird Trail. We're not leaving until we find a bluebird. Wish us luck. Here we go. We made it to the halfway point. Just a big field and a path. We're going to take the path straight. We're looking for a house that isn't there. That's our goal, to find a house that isn't there. So when we get there, we're going to show it to you. Hello, we're still looking for it. We're just walking the path. I'm going to show you what some of the path looks like from our point of view. Oh. All right, that's some of the path. We're almost there. Those who are coming on this path, please follow this. It stands for Bluebird. As you can see, we did find a stream. That's the best we could do. Hopefully we'll find more water, but right now this is the only stream that we have. We're almost there. Let's go. We are now here, surrounded by woods in all directions we're almost there as long as we keep following the bluebird path we'll make it look how much woods we've traveled to get here so far see you there soon good news we did find the stream so that means we are almost there you can see it goes all the way down the mountain and that's enough about the stream but we're halfway there so let's go just listen to what we're hearing right now. I found a huge tulip tree. Watch this. Tulip tree. We found the old homestead. Here it is. The foundation is still here. Obviously they didn't live in a big house. Because I can be here, sitting at the dinner table, while Cousin Betty and Uncle John are over in their bedrooms. I'd be like, hey, Cousin Betty. And she'd be like, yeah, yeah. She can walk right out of the room, and I'm right there. So there's two of these. One. And two. Now there's gotta be, oh, there's more to this land than what I've known. So we're gonna check that out. As you can see, I'm in the house right now. It's not that big, it's 30 feet by 15. So this is how they lived, and I don't know how they got here because it took us 30 minutes just to walk right here. 
and we're going to show you the other place. You can see there's many ruins here. We're going to go through them bit by bit to show you every piece of history. I think I found a well. I will not be jumping down this well because it's quite big. But that's a well. I'd say from 1920. And if you come from this view, you can see there's a ladder. And there is running water going into the well right now if you listen to it very quiet. I would jump down there on a normal day, but I'm not feeling that today. So let's go check out the other stuff. Oh my Melanta. This reminds me of an Indiana Jones film. Look at this. Look at that. I find holes, water. Let's go check this out. This hole was used for something. Oh, this is a stove. I think it was a stove. I could be in a kitchen. I think I found the house and the other thing, we'd forget everything I said about the other because I believe this was the house and that was a shed. Because look at this. Look how many rooms are here. Biggest oven ever. I believe that's the kitchen. We're in Mama, Papa's bedroom. And over here was little Sally. Sally's bedroom, let's check it out. I believe she, she had a candle right here. And a dresser. And a bed, because they didn't have much else. But we're gonna go to the front of the house. Follow me. And when we're done, we have one more surprise on the house. Probably the front of the house. From this angle, that was a pretty big house. And you're seeing what we see. Now we're going to show you a real picture of what the house looked like. Nineteen oh five. But he originally came here in eighteen forty three. So we're going to go check out one more thing on his property, and then go. But if you're ever in the area, I showed you how to get here. It's called Bluebird Path, and it takes you up to this old estate. So we're gonna go over here, check out, see what this is. Let's go. The last thing we found, I don't know what it is. It's filled with water. And it's in the shape of a igloo. Here's the side view. Here's the of it. I'm not sure. Maybe they kept like food, like ice, like smoked things in here back in the 1905. I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna call it a smoke stack. And there's this also. I really don't there's all this stuff leaves covering it, but if you look at this from the we'll come this angle and we'll look at it together. I mean from this angle it looks like the top of the church or an igloo, or the thing where you, a battery, like not a battery, a, a light bulb. Like you put a light bulb in there, it would fit kind of perfectly, maybe not. And then behind it, they built this on the, in a valley. Look how high the mountain goes up from here. And like I said, we are in the Appalachian Mountains. All right, we're gonna go look for more stuff. Here we go. For all you tree lovers on the way down, we found a white oak, and this is what a white oak looks like it's old it's white and it's an oak so you know how to get out of here there's this on this tree it says you are here right there I believe we got to follow the blue arrows to get us down see you when we get there we made it to the bottom. We found a stream, or a creek, or a creek, or a river. 
and we're gonna go check out the water. It's getting louder as we get near it, but here's the path we're on. And to the right is the water. So if you ever make it up this direction, I do suggest taking this path. And it, the water goes all the way down there. And we were just way up there. And remember, this is March, so there's no leaves yet. Just pine trees. And all this around me. Alright, made it to the bottom of the water. It comes this direction. And then it goes underneath. What I am on now is a bridge, and I'll show you. And then the water comes down here, under the bridge. And then, this wall was obviously man-made. As you can see, the water comes out here. It looks pretty fresh. We're at a new place with a stream where there's two of them coming out. And then it goes off. We were just over there. That's the wall. These are the two guns that shoot it out. The water looks more fresh and clean on this side. And I do know, and I don't see any, but there are brook trout in here. Let's just enjoy this for a moment, shall we? We made it out. We were in there. That's the blue bird trail. We found this green thing, which starts another trail, which goes that way. All the way up. And then there's a road, which we're taking now, that'll get us back to our car. So if you're here, when you come out from the path where we are, you want to take a right, and that'll get you down. If you take a left, you're going to be going way up the mountain. So that's where we were earlier, way on top there, and now we are going down. Just another view. We were up there. And this is where the water is coming down. I literally just tripped on a stick. It hurt. I'm back. Alright. See how the water comes down? And then it goes all the way down there. Just a nice view. If you're up here, I suggest stopping here for a minute. The good news is, on the path down, it's actually a path. When we first came up, it was uphill, a lot of rocks, a lot of sticks. I only seen one bird so far, but I plan on coming out here more in maybe July. And then we're going to walk down the water, maybe take some kayaks down it. Hopefully it rains the day before. But I just want to show you, on the way back, it's a nice path. I found my first wildlife, a squirrel. I knew there was wildlife up here. I just knew it. Thank you, squirrel, for making the end of my video better. I lost you. This is not a very safe scenario. You got a dead tree holding up a tree that fell that is now being held up by another tree that fell over and we're gonna go underneath it. So it started here and don't ask me how it never fell to the ground but we are now going to walk underneath it. It seems pretty safe. All right. We made it to the bottom, and we got a crossroad. Left, straight, right. I think we go right. I see a blue thing on the tree way up there. So let's hope I'm right. Or this path goes this way. Or we go this way. Oh, I think I found the right path. If you look down there about... 17 football fields away, you'll see a human being walking, and it looks like a road. So we're going to take this one, and we'll see if we're right. I found more of the stream at the bottom, and then over here is where it comes out. It's a little deeper, about two feet. 
and this will run all the way down into the Susquehanna River. Back here there used to be a Mosquito Valley School. So just pretend there was a school back here and this is what it looked like. And there's their class picture from 1895 to 1896. Now look at it. This is me walking down the path. This is the path and this is the way you do want to come. We're almost there. If you look ahead of me, there's an older gentleman that just stepped out of the woods. Maybe he has some good things to say. We made it out. So when you do get out, you want to see where you started. And this is exactly where we started. Right with the water. And you'll see a green fence. You see the green fence? That means you're, you made it. And you walked the complete thing. This whole trip took us an hour and a half to walk it. But we did stop and look at some things. So if you have an hour and a half to two hours of your day, I do recommend coming up here. And there's the Appalachian Mountain. Do you recommend coming here? Hour, hour 15 minutes. We showed you how to get here. You'll see some great things if you like nature. In our next video, we're probably going to show you things to do in Williamsport or Frisbee Golf. So please stay tuned. And have a great day. And always remember, if you're a free agent, there's a lot of people out there who will want you on your team. Thank you.